Hi, welcome to the Oliver Fetter YouTube channel. Feels like we just did this with that thing. But today, believe it or not, I have yet another engine I need to take out of my van. Without further ado, off we go. Hmm, that's not Volkswagen. No, 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 no. This is another 5.4 liter for the van because the van currently is knocking. Got rod knock, that's what's going on. Yeah, this one's kind of unexpected. I didn't really wanna buy this engine necessarily. The van is my primary mode of transportation, what I work out of, so. Pretty much it needs to work no matter what. There's some decent rod knock on like the first cylinder on the driver's side bank. Instead of tearing that engine down and spending a bunch of time on something that's probably kind of forked anyways because there's been metal filings in the oil for a while now. New crate engine from Dahmer Motor Train or Dahmer Powertrain products. They've been great. I really wasn't sure where to buy an engine from the internet because I'm usually a big Facebook marketplace kind of guy for motors. The engine came with all the gaskets needed that aren't on it. It came with an oil pan and a timing cover and then valve cover gaskets, exhaust gaskets, exhaust gasket studs, you name it, it's there, which is super great. I'm gonna try to pull it out of my van and then we should take a closer look at it to make sure it is indeed the correct motor for the van. I'm stoked! All right, here we go. Not sure how well this is gonna work. They put this in here with a forklift, which is probably the choice way to get it out. Looks like I'm a little front heavy right now, but maybe it's worth just trying to lift it. Now to see how far we can get. Oh, man. oh my goodness. It's all about the uh the little linebacker footsteps, you know? Gotta push your feet real close together. I don't know if this one's gonna come off the hoist until I put it in. It's kinda too much work. So this is what I was talking about with the hardware. I mean, this is amazing that they provide this. Those are nice multi-layer metal exhaust manifold gaskets. Looks like we got an oil pump housing gasket, two valve cover gaskets, and all the valve hardware. I was looking all over the internet for the valve cover hardware and I couldn't find it. And lo and behold, they just give it to you. That's absolutely amazing. Just this is huge. I mean, this is also huge, but this is great. It's kind of a chicken before the egg thing right now because I'm trying to order all the supplemental parts you need to go with this before installing it. So like, you know, air filter, oil filter, uh, water pump, you know, all the harmonic balancer, those kind of accessories that I want to put new with the new motor. Like, for instance, it just came and said that I need a new oil cooler, which, I mean, that's a good thought, actually. I kind of had to get the motor first to know what I need to order, and then I still might get screwed when I go to install it and realize I need a few more things. Super impressed with the quality. Uh, you can see they repaint the block, replace all the freeze plugs, all new, uh, fully checked heads, cams, reground crankshaft, new bearings the whole way around. They include the tins, like the cover and oil pan, which is huge. A lot of places don't do that. What else? I mean, all the seals are already in. They put all the seals with it. It's packed super nice. It looks really, really good. Everything's marked. Any question I had for them, they were more than happy 
to give me an answer on. You know, what kind of oil, how long to break in, what is your actual remanufacturing process? Because I feel like a lot of the time on the internet, you can go and give just about anybody 4,000 bucks and they'll send you an engine. Rare, take the time to actually tell you, you know, what what's good with it, where it's been, what they did to it, what is considered remanufactured. Because a lot of places just, you know, they say they remanufactured it, but like, what does that even mean? It doesn't mean a whole lot as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna reuse my water pump because it only has about 10,000 miles on it. I'm gonna get a new intake manifold and then I'm gonna reuse spark plugs, injectors, and those things because they only have about 3,000 miles on them. And then everything else is brand spanking new. I mean, it looks so good. So freaking good. I need to wait on quite a few parts. I think what's really gonna bone me is that I want the original intake manifold that goes on this engine. And those are hard to come by. There's like a billion, million, billion cheap aftermarket ones. That is like what's currently on the car, but I don't, I kind of feel like that contributes to mine running less than 100%. I could be wrong, but that's how I feel. So I'm thinking I'm gonna spend the cash. And it's annoying because it's like a hundred bucks versus like three hundred bucks, but might as well do it right. And I'm just hitting this with the old cling wrap so I don't have to have that plastic mess on it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to wait on that manifold probably at least a week or so. And in the meantime, it's gonna live right here on this stand. Not really much of a stand. This is what the van sounds like. Get a nice tapping sound. Most noticeable on this side, it's this front cylinder right here that's knocking. So that's the problem. We got the fix. Oh, loose metal. Still loose metal. So yeah, this is what it looks like when both your cars need new motors. I am so blessed to have such a conundrum. At any rate, engine's in the shop. I gotta get some parts ordered for it. New intake manifolds and oil coolers and things like that. Yup. Losing glucose levels by the second here. I need to eat lunch. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate ya. Have a good day out there. <laughs>